Revenge Films. We've been married five years. We were getting along fine, but we were having a hard time having a baby. So I told my wife that I thought that we should go see a doctor. But over time, my wife started acting strangely. At first, it was nothing that surprising, like locking her phone. But after that, I found a bunch of pills that I'd never seen before in her closet. I searched online and found out they were birth control pills. My wife knows that I wanted a child for a long time and that I was depressed that we were having such a hard time. But all along, she was taking birth control pills behind my back. No wonder she never got pregnant. Aside the fact that she was probably cheating, I felt a sense of emptiness and despair. But that just led me to suspect her more of cheating on me. The fact that she was taking birth control knowingly meant that there was some reason that made pregnancy inconvenient to her, like cheating. I kept searching for evidence and found that $6 million was missing from my bank account. That was money that I won in a lottery before getting married. I bought a house and a car for us, and the rest was being saved. My wife knew this, of course. I was saving up to spend the money on our future child, which she knew as well, but apparently she had different plans. She obviously didn't want a child with me. She also knew that it was money that I didn't plan to spend anytime soon, so it was perfect to steal from. That made me even more angry. I wanted to confront her immediately, but held back and hired a detective instead. I had them follow her for two months, and the amount of evidence was ridiculous. Every time she said she was coming home late from work, she had been going to a hotel with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was riding a Ferrari and was getting a new house built, and I found out that all that money was the money stolen from my bank account. I was completely over my wife and pissed at the new boyfriend, so I quickly found a lawyer and had her begin preparing for our divorce. But rather than certifying the evidence, I first talked to both my parents and her parents about it. My mother had already passed away, so it was only my father, and he told me to do as I pleased. But her parents got on their knees and cried, begging for forgiveness. They said that they'd sell their own house and get a loan to return the money if they had to. I really liked my wife's parents, and they treated me like their real son, so I felt kind of bad, even though everything was my wife's fault. I have no plans of having either of you paying a cent. I want the two who are responsible to pay for what they did, I told them. To which her mother replied, I didn't think she was such a fool! I'm calling all of our relatives and disowning her! As she was screaming, her father said, I heard that her new boyfriend is married as well. I think we owe his wife an apology too. I didn't want the boyfriend's wife to think that I was joking, so I had my lawyer call her over to the office and show her the evidence. A few days later, she showed up and broke down crying after she saw all the evidence. I never thought that my wife would cheat on me, but it made me realize how destructive cheating is to all those around you. Her parents were torn, I was torn, and the wife was torn. But those two were still happily having their affair. There was no way that they would be forgiven for this. We decided that we would all break in together during one of their affairs. I gave them all a copy of the evidence, and we exchanged numbers. The two cheaters were getting bold, coming home late more often, and lying about business trips more often. After everything was set in motion, one day my wife told me, I'll be home late tomorrow, so go to bed without me. I knew what she was going to be up to, so I contacted my detective. The next day around 8 p.m., I got a call from my detective. They're in the hotel now. So I called my wife's parents, the boyfriend's wife, and our lawyer. I was the first to greet them on their way out. All right, you two, stop right there, I said. What do you want? The boyfriend said as they turned to face me. My wife's expression changed immediately as she crumbled over. The boyfriend didn't know who I was. Who are you? He asked. I'm the husband of that whore you've been busting inside of. Don't worry, your wife's here as well so don't even think about running, I replied. He just stood there clueless. I took them to my lawyer's office in my detective's car. We went over the evidence and my demands before we called it a night. My wife stayed at the house that night, being watched by her sister, and I got a motel room for the night. The next day, the boyfriend confessed to everything. It was quite a shocking confession. 
He said that he's always dreamt of having a Ferrari. He had gotten a loan for the car, but pretended to pay it off with the money my wife had given him, and pocketed the rest instead. I want a house to live in with you, but I don't have enough money. Let's buy a new car for ourselves. You have a right to spend half of your husband's money. He had brainwashed her with nonsense like that. My wife, who lost her sense of judgment, forged my signature and stole my money to give to him. They had been in a relationship for almost a year now. And while I was gone on a business trip, they had even gone to Hawaii together. With my money, of course. I asked for a divorce and all of the money back, but my wife demanded her share. What's the problem with me spending six million? I still deserve half of the couple of million dollars that you still have left in the bank. She still believed that she deserved half of my money, so I had my lawyer explain to her, and you could watch as her expression changed. The boyfriend argued to the lawyers. It was his wife that spent the money. I just accepted some gifts. But of course, nonsense like that doesn't hold up in court. He ended up having to sell the Ferrari. His parents had to sell their house to pay the rest, but he was disowned after that, and all his relatives hate him for what he did to his parents. His company found out and fired him as well. He's going to have to look hard for a new job because he has to pay his wife compensation as well. But he lost his house, and it's pretty hard to find a job without a set address. My wife got fired from work as well. She tried to stay at the house for a week even after the divorce, so her sister yelled at her, and she finally left. I was staying with my parents for a while. By the way, my wife's sister is strongly against cheating and hated my wife for doing such a thing. For about two years after that, she didn't pay what she owed me and I couldn't get a hold of her. Until one day when she came over to the house. I worked hard for two years and have your money, so give me a second chance. She said, handing me an envelope that had money inside. Where did you get this money? I asked. I was a prostitute. She said shamelessly, you didn't want to have a baby with me, and you stole six million dollars from me while you were cheating with that guy. What reason would I have to start over with you? I'm already remarried and have a child anyways, I told her. She looked surprised. I pointed at our family photo, and my ex-wife looked angry. What the hell? She yelled. What do you mean? This is me, my wife, and our baby. That's my sister! Yeah, you're right. That's unbelievable! I couldn't care less what you think. Just stay away from me and my new family, I said, and she stormed off with a confused and angry expression on her face. I never saw her again. All I did was find my happiness, but I guess it was unexpectedly painful for my ex-wife. She seemed surprised that I was married to her sister, but honestly, so are we. At first, after everything that happened, I wasn't in touch with anyone in her family, and all their contact information was erased. A few weeks later, a girl that my friends introduced me to just so happened to be my ex-wife's sister. We were brothers and sister-in-law for a while, so I didn't pursue it at first, but I guess we were comfortable around each other and ended up dating. My wife was so unlike my ex-wife, I can't believe they are even related. I love my wife, and I'm so happy we were able to have a child that we both love. <laughs> By the way, it was my parents-in-law that were the most surprised. I had left them on such bad terms after a long and great relationship. Just to marry their other daughter and come back. They had already disowned my ex-wife, and they seemed a bit confused and happy at the same time. But they were delighted to meet their grandchild nonetheless. When I found out that my ex-wife was cheating on me, I never imagined a future like this. But all in all, I learned that life is just full of surprises. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.